So many things I've heard about Pakistan, you know, just the media portraying it as a bad country, at least in the West, that's what happens a lot. Pretty hot here in Karachi. Do you find it spicy? That is so sweet. And this one's a little bit darker. Do you know what a Tim Tam is? They're from Australia. Good. <laughs> it is so good to be back out traveling. There's a guy out there with a huge gun. It's very nice. It's delicious. But it's like so sweet and so fresh. Hello. No, 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 no money. money. No, no money. Oh, you're no a money. kind guy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good morning. It is an absolute scorcher out here today in Karachi, Pakistan. Very first time I'm here and super excited not only just to travel the country but actually be in a new country. The past year I have been uh, in Australia back at home but I decided, you know, Australia gets pretty boring so I'm going to go out and explore the world. So, you know, obviously landing into a new airport, I made this mistake about two, two years ago when I first landed in Delhi for the first time and uh, I didn't do much research. I landed in the middle of summer and uh, when, I, when I arrived, I was like, oh, you know, what's the worst that can happen when, uh, when you, you know, you come to an airport, you just get someone to take you to your destination. So I learned the hard way by just letting somebody um, pick me up on the side of the street. Oh, no camera, all right. I need to go to this address. Uh, no, not Pakistan, no. I can buy a SIM card here, no? Luke, L-U-K-E. Can I buy a SIM card here at the, pa at the airport? Okay. I can see. What is the price? Where is the price? Okay. Alright, let's go. You are driving? Yeah. All right. No, no. I am Porter. Ah. Driver is the option. Oh, he is the driver. Oh, yes. Where is he? Cab number T14. T14? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Well, the things I've learned traveling is that when somebody gets you from the airport or uh, waves you over, generally there is some monetary reward involved. So. Not sure what's gonna happen here. That went way too fast. Usually I, I wanted to chill, but then the guy, the no, army guy, was like, no filming, no filming. So I sort of just right shut down and then went, it got called over to a taxi thing. I'm like, oh my god. Uh, I thought I'd learn, you know, 20 years old, 20 year old Lukey. Can I see the paper, bro? Can I see? Yes, sir. All right, what do we got here? Client name, Mr. Gulk. Oh, is that me? Oh, he, sp he spelt my name severely wrong. Min charge 950, 10 kilometers, then 30. I don't even know. Like, obviously, going into a new country, I'm very hesitant of um, the way taxis and stuff work, so there's a good chance I'm gonna get <laughs> ripped off here. But I'll just film it and then see if you guys <laughs> can help me out in the comments and see if that is uh, what has happened. But and it's an absolute scorcher out here today, not even summer, but. Other than that, really excited to visit this country. Gonna spend a couple days in Karachi and then fly up to Islamabad. And then I will go uh, up into the mountains in Hanza, that area. So really excited. So many things I've heard about Pakistan, you know, good things and bad things, but I know a lot of the things are, you know, just the media portraying it as a bad country, at least in the West, that's what happens a lot. You know, just a, a disclaimer. I know I, I have previously filmed in India and I have a lot of India fans. And I really um, love you guys so much, but Oh. One minute wait. Yes. Okay. Welcome, Karachi. Thank you, brother. So yeah, if you're a Pakistani that's watching this, I got, I know the conflict between Which the two countries. Yeah. All right. Which one? New car. New car. All right. The driver is already this waiting. Ah uh, yes. This my job this portal. This is my service. This is my tip, sir. Okay. Actually, like can I put it in the in the back of the seat? No problem. This one I'll try, sir. Hello. Maybe I'll sit in the front. Okay. 
<laughs> Usually, how much do people give you? What is the tip? Well, he helps me a lot. I don't know. You you just came in at the no, last no, second. No problem. <laughs> what do you think is fair? What price? You like it. Okay, I honestly don't even know. What do they usually give? As you wish. As you wish. Yeah, as you wish. Uh, that is fine. Have a good day. Correct, yes. How are you today, sir? That is good. All right. Well, I was happy to pay one, but the last guy came in and did absolutely nothing. He just read out a number plate to me. Anywho, as I was saying, guys, if you are a Pakistani that is watching this video, um, be sure to check out the videos that I filmed in the previous, uh, on my previous trips that showcase the amazing places all around India. And if you are an Indian that is watching this, make sure that you, um, you know, follow this journey over the next 30 days because I really am going to prove uh, a lot of the media wrong and a lot of stereotypes that have been told about this country. So, you know, so far so good. There's a guy up there with a huge gun. Oh my goodness. What is your name? Aapka naam kya? Altaf Ahmed. Altaf Ahmed. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, look at these things. Look at those. They're sharp. It is so good to be back out traveling. You're from where? Sakhar Shikarpur, Interior Sin. Ah, okay. How many minutes will it take to get to our destination? Uh, if uh, road clear, uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Okay. Uh, otherwise, they uh, depend on traffic. Uh huh. So one thing I've started doing when I travel is bring Australian snacks with me. So as you've seen, maybe in my other videos, I went around um, with Karthik Surya and gave him Australian Tim Tams. And I actually have a lot of Tim Tams in my bag that I want to give to the Pakistani people just to, you know, I'm sure they wouldn't have had a Tim Tam before. So do you know what a Tim Tam is? Tim Tam. Have you heard of a Tim Tam? I will show you. This is a, this is a Tim Tam. It is an Australian snack. Yeah, product uh, Pakistan menu. No. Do you want to try Tim Tam? Uh, 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 Would you like one? <laughs> They're from Australia. Very delicious. Let me know what you think. Good? <laughs> I'm gonna eat a Tim Tam as well. See, he's loving it. Or maybe he's just eating it to be nice. A little bit melted because it's pretty hot here in Karachi. Did you like it? Good? Yes. Good. Very nice? Yeah. <laughs> Maximum, you know, four, Maximum 1400. 14, 14 maximum. Okay. How do you calculate it? Uh, application. It's ah. Right card, then Android. Ah, okay. What is this? This is a wireless for a communication company. Ah, okay. But it is off. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay. Seems like a fair guy. I approve. I don't think anybody understands like the thrill I'm getting right now. About a year ago, before the world shut down, this is like my life. I literally just went to countries and chilled out. Got to see people, got to meet new people, got to eat food. I'm so excited to try the Pakistani food. What is the best Pakistani food? Oh. Best, uh, the, uh, Karachi country, best food. Uh, Biryani. Ah. Yum. I'm very excited. Karachi is actually, well not even just Karachi, but Pakistan is going through a third wave of coronavirus. Probably will get demonetized if I say that word on YouTube. But um, like I, before I came here I was doing a little bit of research, seeing that a few things were shut down, but it seems like life's pretty normal out here. Not many people wearing masks coming from Australia we've had about five cases in the past six months <laughs> so you probably think I'm crazy for leaving Australia but uh, it just gets really boring you know when you have a, a life full of travel and you know I'm a young healthy male young healthy guy ready to uh, explore the world and I'm sure if I end up getting it I'll be able to fight it off but that's fingers crossed we don't but look how big that flag is wow I'm, I'm loving it I'm really to see new things. Super excited guys, really excited. Tell me that 
just isn't the funniest thing. People wearing masks on a motorbike but not wearing a helmet. <laughs> this is a Baloch colony. Okay. Baloch colony. Yes, Baloch colony. Wow, I just had a really weird deja vu moment. I swear I've been here in a dream before. <laughs> that, was, that was really weird. I, it's, oh, I swear I've been here. Which I literally haven't, but like in my dream, I think I've had a dream here before. Wow, that was weird. It's really cool, man. It's really cool. Look, it's just good, you know, why I travel and when I talk about travel and stuff, when people ask me why I do travel, I just love experiencing new things. I love meeting new people. I love trying new foods and, you know, seeing things that you wouldn't normally uh, see. Like, none of this stuff is in Australia. This is only here in Pakistan. And it's really the only place that you can see it. So that's why I love going to these new countries. Like, seeing... Look at that. The trucks are awesome. That's so cool. And there's people just chilling. Ah, oh, it's good to be back. And I'm really gonna like this is gonna be real reminiscent of me, you know, being at home for the past year, not being able to travel, and you know, it's really gonna bring back some good memories of traveling again, meeting new people, and really putting myself outside of my comfort zone. Because, uh, like, the reason I left Australia was I was just really getting too comfortable with life. I wasn't challenging myself, and uh, when you live, you know, that kind of really easy life, you're not growing as an individual. You're not growing. As a person so you know I was really just like I, I need to go travel again I need to push out of my comfort zone go and meet some new people go and uh, see some new things and really you know increase my knowledge of the world because like there's so many places out there that I haven't seen so many countries that I haven't visited and I really just want to see basically everything there is in the world So Karachi, fly to Lahore, mm -hmm. drive to Islamabad, uh, uh, yeah, and then fly to Hamza. Okay. You are going first time. Yes, first time in Pakistan. You alone, alone travel? Yeah, you are partners. Uh, no, friends. just just I have some friends here, but it's just me. Yeah. I have some Pakistani friends. My English is not good, but <laughs> uh, uh, alone, solo. Yeah. Uh, your English is good. Uh, my English is not good. I think it's some, okay. Some words, but yeah. How many languages do you know? Uh, I know Urdu language and Sindhi. Sindhi. And, uh, Balochi. Ah, okay. So that was something I was questioning. Is that each state do they? So each state has a different language. Uh, yes, Karachi, uh, the Urdu. Uh -huh. uh, and Sindhi. Sindhi. And then, uh, Peshawar me Pashto language, uh, Urdu, uh, Lahore, Punjabi. Uh, okay, I love that. That's a really cool thing that each area has their own language. But most people know Urdu, yes, most people know Urdu or Pakistan. Okay, what is happening now? Uh, traffic uh, violation challenge, no helmet, ah, uh, yes, and uh, motorbike overloading, overload, ah, uh, okay. How many rupee fine? What is the... 200, 300, 500. Okay. Otherwise, no challenge. He will give police officer 150 rupees. <laughs> Tip. Uh, bribe. Yes, bribe. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Pakistan. <laughs> this is Swiss still? Oh, okay. Well, I wanted to give you a better tip, but I don't have as much money as I thought I had. There is a... Your country? I am from Australia. Okay. There is 1700 rupees. Okay, thank thank you. you so much. Okay. I'll just grab my bags. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, how are you guys? I am uh, checking in. My name is Luke. How are you doing, sir? I'm going well. Very hot today. Yes. Or is that every day? Swiss Dale Cottage. How long has this been? I say it's been two years now. Two years? Yes, sir. And how many rooms do you have? So we have uh, 11 rooms in total uh, as for now. Uh, we used to have 10, but there's this one room that we have newly made, sir. Ah. That is my room? Yes. Um, really? But, uh, yeah, <laughs> 
I wanted to give you another room, sir. Ah. I'll, I'll just see which one we can give you. I made many bookings here before. I made... I was meant to be here on Tuesday. Yes, yes. I was meant to be here on Thursday. Right, sir. And now I'm finally here. Yes, we were <laughs> expecting you. And uh, we are happy to have you here, sir. <laughs> it, it has been an absolute nightmare getting this trip organized, everybody. You would have seen... You were here. I mean, you were in Pakistan all this time, sir. No, no, no. I came from Australia today. Oh. This is my first day in Pakistan. How was your journey? Very good. Ah, thank you. Would you like to have some juice, sir? Sure, what juice do you have? Uh, we have mango, orange, orange apple. apple. Orange juice, please. How do you say water in Urdu? Uh, Pani. Pani. Oh, so it's the same as Hindi. That's easy, yeah. Pani. So you know Hindi already? Right? A, li a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so you have a blogger? Yes. Yes, so you have a YouTube channel? Yes, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. Wow. TikTok, but TikTok is banned in Pakistan. Yes. yes. <laughs> Nowadays. Not, not good for me. <laughs> not good for ah. us either. You spend a lot of time on TikTok? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I bought you guys a gift. Oops. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm, nice. You like it? Mm. Do you want a Tim Tam? <laughs> They're all the way from Australia. Tim Tam? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, am I meant to pay you? I need to. I need to pay. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I complete. Yeah, it just that is okay though. Yes. Or anywhere. I don't really mind. Okay, room review time. This is it. I'm here for two nights because I never know exactly how long I'm gonna be in a, in a city for sort of because always I just end up meeting people by Instagram or something like that so only here for two nights uh, at the moment not entirely sure if I'll extend my stay but let's do a little review so got the fridge not too cold <laughs> it's actually is it even on let me just double check that on Oh, I think I just turned it off. Okay, so it was on. Got the couch, got the TV, got my bags, and then uh, let's take my shoes off. And then we'll do a test. Uh, tell you what, it's better than sitting in a row of three airplane seats. Much better. Little Mr. Rabbit, Peter Rabbit here. The rabbit lady. Where's the rabbit man? Is he on the other side? Oh, come on. Surely you can't have one side and not have the other one. Let's do a bathroom review quickly. Got the fan, shower, outside. What's down there? Nothing. Towel. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. And then there's me. So I literally like I booked. So I booked this place about a week ago, for a week ago, and then I had to change my plans. Flights got delayed, and then just it was an absolute mess. So ended up coming here today. I thought it was um a little bit bigger. I thought it was more sort of a hotel, not a uh, a homestay. But that's cool. Get to chill out and hang out with the local people that's a cool cool way to to travel around so pretty happy with it I'm paying not entirely sure how much I'm paying how much was it so it was 6,100 rupees per night so around 53 Australian dollars um, is it worth that probably like, honestly if you want my genuine honest opinion probably not Depending how strong the AC is, that is actually going to be the dictator whether it's worth it or not. So it's currently on 16. Oh no, it's not, it's on 22. It doesn't even work. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just leave that. When I was looking on Booking.com, 
Um, it seems that Karachi is actually pretty expensive for uh, hotels and staying places. Whereas uh, like Islamabad and Lahore, a lot cheaper. But, you know, it's a good place to stay for your first night, you know, first couple of nights to get settled into the city. And we'll go out and explore um, shortly after I just, you know, set a few things up. And then, uh, yeah, I'm excited guys. Really excited to visit Pakistan. All right, the adventure continues. We're walking out in the streets, so going to check out the mall that's nearby. It is so damn hot. Like I know, obviously we're heading in, heading into summer. Hello, salam alaikum. It's always cool, you know, hanging out with the locals, getting to know. I was just chatting to the staff there, and you know, to discussing a few things about what there was to see. But this is the part that I love when I'm out on my own, on my own, uh, discussing what there is to do. So he said left and right to the mall. I think the mall's up this way. First impressions? Well, there's a big hole there. Um, yeah, this neighborhood's really nice. In terms of, like I feel like Karachi is probably, you know, rich and, you know, very clean. And that's sort of the area that we're in. But then of course, when we were coming out of the airport, um, there were some areas that were pretty dirty. There's holes everywhere. <laughs> Got to uh, get used to the traffic conditions again. Completely forgot about that stuff. But look at this big building here, wow. The biggest struggle for me whenever I enter a new country is that I need to find an ATM that works with my card. So I have a Citibank card. And most places I go have Citibank um, cards, but sometimes they're not always like accessible. Like I just tried an ATM before. Let's go green. Please, please, please. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Could not be completed. All right. Test number three. Are we successful? No, we are not. All right, so we we're none from four on that occasion, which is slightly worrying, wor <coughs> worrying because you do need money to travel <laughs> and I do need uh, funds to supply this trip. So we're definitely gonna have to figure something out with that, but it's not like an immediate issue. I do have um, some funds that I have, but you know, you go from like, the huge like mall and it's just straight out to like sort of just the you know the local people but you know it's an interesting city like always the, the first 24 hours of a trip um, is like <laughs> is always the most interesting because uh, you know obviously everything is new your senses are just like whoa, whoa, whoa. new noises new smells new everything so uh, it's definitely like very uh, What's the word? Like I'm definitely out of my comfort zone because I haven't traveled for so long. And um, we definitely have to get used to the crossing the road uh, situation. I remember when I used to travel India, <laughs> it used to be just as bad. And sometimes you just gotta put your hand out and just walk across. Here we go, we got an opening. All right, we're free. Hello. I think people are they're very friendly but um, they're just like a little bit shy like if I say hello first they're all cheery but no one's actually really like said hello to me but I guess <laughs> with like a camera they're a little bit hesitant obviously look how silly I am guys there's a city bank inside Dorman Mall Probably it's, it's on the 15th floor. What does it say? Is there 15 floors? Uh, yes, sir. There, there, this building, I think Harbour Front or something. I'll just check. Citibank. Okay, so we are currently in Burns Road. If you are a Pakistani and you're watching this, 
there's a good chance that you know one. <laughs> what's, what's your name and give a, a 10 second introduction of who you are. My name is Umar and I am Alina's go to. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I'm sort of famous is because of Alina. That's not true. <laughs> and who are you? I am Alina and I am not even from Karachi, but somehow I'm known here. <laughs> She's a Kiwi, the uh, the Aussie brother from another mother sort brother. of thing. And then we got Ali. Who's How do we? Who's <laughs> <the most> famous? <laughs> <laughs> the most famous. So uh, my go-to, I linked up with Alina before I came to Karachi and then. She was like, all right, Umar's her go-to, and then he... <laughs> oh, and we got... We got... All right. What is this that we have right here? This is called Thaga Kebab. Thaga Kebab. This is called Thaga, which is basically the, the string that's wrapping the whole meat. <laughs> wrapping the whole meat. <laughs> so, wow. And this is this, but fried. So how do you eat it, Ali? Give me a break, break, break the bread. Yep. What is the name of this bread? This is called naan. Naan, okay. Haven't you had this before? Yeah, yeah, I've had naan before, but none of these dips. Dips. Dips, I don't know. They are dips, right? Mm. I don't really know how to <laughs> like explain it. Do you find it spicy? No. Do you find it spicy? You do this. You hold this. Ah. Uh, oh, it's not gonna go. I really severely messed it up. All right. Okay. Oh. So this was a fail. We'll try this one. Oh, it just came off. Yeah. <laughs> it just came off. Anybody that's interested in the pricing, we got the uh, kebab fry, 3.30. Do we have dollar piece or is that one piece? Okay, so that's one. Oh yeah, you get two. And then the naan is so cheap, 15 rupees. So I think at the moment, the Australian dollar is 120 uh, rupees, Pakistani rupees. Welcome to an episode of Luke's Investigations. There's a couple of cool things along here. What is this? Oh, I think this is pan. Sound local. I am just looking. This is pan? Yeah. Ah. And then they have cigarettes. Wow. What, oh, these are, go into there. They are in there, correct? Yeah. Ah. Interesting. And then over here, we have. I know that one. That one's called Jalabi. Salam alaikum. Wow. And samosa. Oh my goodness. I have not had a samosa in so long. And they have little ones. What is this? What is this name? Mighty Digia. Ah. This Gulab Yaman. Wow, there's so many. Please, 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 oh, okay. Please, please. You're a kind guy. I will eat. Is it sweet? Gulab jamun. Okay. Let me try. All right. Oh. That is so sweet. Very nice. And this one's a little bit darker. Wow. They are very sweet. Yeah, they're sweetish. Yeah. Cool. It's actually really nice. I'm gonna have some more. And it like is so oily as you can see. Where do you cook them? <coughs> ah. So they go into there. Oh, is, are you giving me a demonstration? Oh, you are. Thank you, brother. I'm gonna keep eating. This is actually like really delicious. All right. Oh, it's so sweet. Is this your store, sir? 
How many years have you been at here? This is called my school in 1963. 93. Wow. And you're here every day? It is yes. your father's store? Father, grandfather. Wow, 93 years. Also, oh, this is the way that. So he puts it in there. Put it up. And then he wraps it all up. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh. You are an expert. How many years have you been doing this for? How is that? 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 And how long does it take to cook? 15 to 20 years. Wow. And how long does it take to cook? Oh, you put it in here. Oh, and that's how it gets the orangey. Orange, orange, red. Ah. After this cook, this will be sugar coated. Yeah, yeah. Sugar. Oh. How long do they have to be in there for? How long do they have to be in there for? Yeah, two minutes. Just you want to dip it. Two, two minutes. Just you want to dip it and take it out. Yeah. It is a lot of sugar. Yeah. It's not very healthy for you. This is sugar. You get very fat. <laughs> Just this coating. Yeah, yeah. The sweetness. This is Oh wow. And here they have samosas. Yeah. Pakistan's favorite dishes. Samosa? This is for refreshment. Yeah. This all why I said we are cooking, we are cooking the refreshments. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And what is what is this? I've never seen this before. It's just like a samosa, but is what you can say this one saltish. Saltish. Ah, okay. Saltish type. This is not a sweet. Yeah. All right, he's he's breaking them up a little bit. Uh -huh. And then they go in there. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. Okay. Now, do it. Hey, maybe. Oh, this is harder when you're vlogging as well. <laughs> it is very <laughs> good. <laughs> good, good. Hey, uh, all right, one left. Uh, okay. Either come, Karega. Yeah. Done. Okay. And this is it. This is the aftermath. This is fresh. This is fresh. All right, so this is the end, end product here. Let's do a... Are we filming? Yes. All right, taste test. Ah, uh, is that a big house? Oh. Mm. This is very nice, delicious. But it's, it's like so sweet and so fresh. Fresh? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's actually so nice. Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you. He's All right. Shower, he's done. How much should I owe you for that? No, 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 no money. money. No, no money. Really? Yeah. Oh, no you're money. a kind guy. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are amazing. All right. Thank you for the experience. Shukriya. Goodbye. Shukriya. 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 Amazing people. Guys, literally, I came here knowing that like the Pakistani hospitality was going to be amazing and already I'm experiencing it. Well guys, the uh, day is coming to an end and uh, what a great day it's been. Exactly what I thought Pakistan would be, a country that is uh, very 
misinterpreted by the media and just filled with lovely people um, that are here to help you and give you a good experience. So super excited to uh, join this journey and uh, really discover what this country is about. You know, we'll be leaving Karachi in a few days. We'll fly up uh, into the northern parts and uh, I know the trip can only get better from here. So I want to thank you all for watching this video and uh, yeah, hope you all have a great day and as always, chase your dreams and uh, we'll see you in the next video.